Carl Walker, I will be your worship leader for today, coming from C of Catalina Baptist Church Live. The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Another day that the Lord is blessed and watched over Skeletons through last night, woke us up this morning, had a roof over our head, a bed to sleep in. Any good? If he's good, just give him thanks right now. Psalms 107 said, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good, for his mercy endureth forever. And let me say, today is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Eternal God, our Father, Lord, we come once again, just as humble as we know how. We come, oh God, thanking you for our last night's sleep that our sleep was in death, for waking us up this morning and being closed in our right mind. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings that you bestow upon us from time to time. Lord God, we thank you, O oh God, for just letting us just to be in the land of the living. And Father God, as we go into this service today, we pray your blessings upon everyone that's listening in, to those that's on conference, to those of oh God that's on Zoom. Oh God, we ask you to know everything that's going to be said and done for your glory and for your honor. Bless each and every one, O oh God. Bless us and be with us. Guide us and protect us. O oh God, wear our mouth, tame our tongue, keep us in your care and on your blood. And Lord, we be so careful to always give you the praise in Jesus name we pray and now without further ado we will have an opening selection by the praise team announcements by ms minor scripture and prayer by dick and chris walker black history moment by sister london long selection praise team and then we are gonna have the bread of life we're gonna have a pastor to do his thing and close up in the way that the lord will have him do god bless you and may heaven smile upon you
Good morning to Cantalan Baptist Church. Good morning, Pastor Tolliver, Mrs. Tolliver, Minister Price, officers, members, and friends. These are our announcements. <clears throat> we continually pray for our sick and shut in members Sister Brasha, Willie Bland, George Price, Josephine Timberlake, Adel Quarles, Joanne Price, Yvonne Bryce, Evelyn Mealy, Janet Timberlake. Lucy Payne, Ethelene and Joseph Pace, Dignus Francis Mitchell, Edward Price, Gilbert Price, Hazel Hughes, Thelma Jackson, Marion Perkins, Johnny and Pauline Payne, Frank Young, Anderson Herndon, Lewis Young, Iantha Johnson, Corey McGee, Lonnie Dickerson, and family. Pray ye one for another. As sympathy goes out today to the bereaved families, uh, to the Glover family on the loss of brother Jerome Horse Glover, who's the nephew of Sister Marie Timberlake and my cousin as well. And we ask that you be very careful, those of you who have generators, we think uh, knowing that they could uh, harm you in some way. So be careful of those of you who are using the generator for uh, heat and electricity. Also to the bereaved families, digging is Dorothy Jefferson, who many of us know, who was a trailblazer in the Beulah Baptist Sunday School uh, Convention. Sister Jefferson's funeral will be Tuesday at nine and Brother Glover's funeral will be Tuesday at noon for choir and Emmaus. Worship service, that worship service is continuing. It's a beautiful time. Uh, every Sunday at 10 o'clock a.m., please use our prayer line and our Zoom line, and our Zoom line. Wednesday mornings, prayer, seven o'clock, and Sunday school every Sunday at nine o'clock. Tithes and offerings. 
trustees are collecting tithes on and offerings on Saturday mornings from 11 to noon at the church. Or you can mail them in to the P.O. Box, Gum Springs, or to the Counterline Church Address, 4070 Counterline Road, or use online PayPal. Don't forget to include your missionary, building fund, and Sunday school offerings. God loves a cheerful giver. February is Heart Healthy Awareness Month, especially for women. Uh, main causes, high blood, high cholesterol, unhealthy eating. Let's get some exercise. Let's have a checkup uh, with our doctors. Stay safe wearing your mask, keeping your social distance, and washing your hands. Other information you can see on our Counterline website under the tab that says resources. For those of us who are seeking the COVID-19 vaccine shot, there are 60, 60 shots available for this Thursday, February 25th in Ashland. And this is for residents of Goochland and Hanover. Thursday, February 25th in Ashland. You must be 65 years old or older and you need to call to register. That is Miss Wendy Hobbs and her number, her number 804-822-6407. They do have 60 slots. Let's get our vaccines. Meetings, ministry meetings. On tomorrow evening, the Sunday School Ministry, all teachers are asked to please attend an important meeting tomorrow evening at seven o'clock on the prayer line for an important discussion that Sunday school teachers are asked to attend a meeting on Monday, February 22nd for an important discussion. Please use the prayer line number. Black history. We've come this far by faith. We're really enjoying ourselves. We're coming down near the end. We have Wednesday at seven o'clock. Our discussions will continue. We thank all who have participated and we look forward to this Wednesday's discussion using prayer line and Zoom. Join us for Lent reading. We are in the midst of reading that book. We started on Wednesday, February 17th, uh, and we will have our first discussion meeting on next Sunday, February 28th at three o'clock p.m. using the Zoom line only, Zoom line only for our discussion next Sunday, February 28th at three o'clock to discuss our book, Preparing for Easter, the 50 Devotional Readings. Meeting next Sunday, February 28th at three, using Zoom line only. Friday for fun, Friday fun. Couples, join us for a night of fun and fellowship. Online couples night, Friday the 26th at 7 p.m. using Zoom. Our host, Minister Justin and Sister Jessica Brown. And we were just talking in Sunday school about couples with Aquila and Priscilla. So here's another way to continue our fellowship in the Lord on Friday night the 26th at 7 p.m. Couples Fellowship. Then on Saturday afternoon, join the women's ministry for virtual bingo, Saturday the 27th at 3 to 4 o'clock p.m. We are using worship Zoom and prayer lines. And if you didn't pick up your cards yesterday, please pick up your cards this Saturday during offering time at the church. Passes a list. Please submit your accomplishments to First Lady for second marking period and first semester. Our sister, our minister, um, First Lady Tolliver is asking that parents or grandparents, would you please, please, please email her a picture of the young person who is receiving the award. Please email First Lady Tolliver a picture of the recipient 
of the honor roll list. Congratulations to all of you for all of your hard work. Join us for Thankful Thursday, moving into March. This is our spring revival time. Three nights, Thursday, March 11th, Thursday, March 18th, and Thursday, March the 25th at 7 o'clock p.m. We will be having Thankful Thursday Spring Revival. Our speakers will be Reverend Dr. Tracy Daniels of St. Mark, Reverend Stevie M. Trent of Second Union, and Dr. Emmanuel Harris of Jerusalem Baptist Church. So join us on our Zoom and prayer line for these wonderful uh, sermons. And then March 14th, our youth ministry. Our youth ministry will have a virtual fun and fellowship ap afternoon on Sunday, March 14th from 3 to 4 p.m. Use Zoom, this is only on Zoom, to connect. And don't forget to have your snacks available uh, during this time. That's our youth ministry, fun and fellowship, Sunday afternoon, March 14th, 3 to 4 p.m. Using Zoom to connect. Thank you. We didn't receive any thank you letters, but thank everyone for all they're doing to continue the work of the Lord. Birthdays, happy birthday, happy birthday and happy anniversary. Happy birthday to our very own Dignitas Nora Smith, who will celebrate her 87th birthday on Tuesday, February the 23rd. And then on Wednesday, February 24th, Sister Toby Dickerson will celebrate her birthday. So happy birthday and happy anniversary to anyone who had an, has an anniversary this week. We say God bless you, God loves you, and continue in the work of the Lord. Good morning. Scripture this morning will be coming from 1 Peter verses 1. Um, chapter 1, verse 3 and 4. 1 Peter, chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. Reads as thus. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible, and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, again, we come to you as humble as we know how. Just thanking you this for last night's sleep and our early morning rising. Thanking you, Father God, for all your good and perfect gifts, because we realize, dear God, that it's only because of you that you allowed our golden moments to roll on just a little while longer. For the blood still running warm in our veins. Father God, although we have trials and tribulations, we constantly believe and put our trust and faith in you. And Lord, you have never failed us yet. So we ask, dear God, that you would just continue to bless us, strengthen us where we're weak, and build us up where we are torn down. Bless us to move forward, Father God pressing on to the higher mark, keeping our eyes set on thee. Bless all those, Father God, who are battling illnesses, mentally, physically, or spiritually. Bless all those who don't know you in the pardon of their sins. We pray, Father God, for this world in general, for all of our brothers and sisters. Watch over them, Father God, and cover us all with your blood. Dear God, we pray for the remainder of this service. Bless, dear God, your servant, who will bring the bread of life. Let it seek deep down in our hearts, Father God, that we might spread it into this sinful world. Lord, if you do these things, we never try to bargain with you. But Father God, we'd be so careful to give you all glory, all honor, and all praise, for it is already thine and only thine. In Jesus' precious name, we do pray. Amen.
Hello, my name is London, and most importantly, I'm a child of God. And though we're celebrating Black history, I want to recognize the accomplishments of an African-American slash Indian woman who has inspired me a lot. Her name is Kamala Harris. Kamala first ran for public office as San Francisco's district attorney in 2002, defeating her former boss to become the first African-American woman to serve as district attorney in California. Kamala is biracial, identifying as both Black and Indian. Harris next stop to on her road to the White House would be at the Cap California State Capitol as the first African American first woman and first Asian American to serve as California's Attorney General. From there, she fulfilled the Senate seat long held by Barbara Boxer and became the second Black woman elected to the U.S. Senate. Back in 1990, she worked as a deputy district attorney in Amadea County. A decade, a decade later, in 2000, she worked for the Family and Children's Service Division in San Francisco, focusing on child abuse and neglect. Three years later, in 2003, she ran for district attorney of San Francisco and was elected in a runoff election. She was the first of color to be in the DA in the city. Harris was reelected in 2007. Then in 2010, Kamala ran and won her bid for attorney general of California, becoming the first female and first black and Indian American in this position. Kamala Harris ran for president of the United States in early 2019 and decided to drop out of the race due to her becoming Biden's running mate as vice president. In August of 2020, she had a historic hit career in the Bay Area and in California. January 20th, 2021, Kamala Harris was the first African-American slash Indian woman elected vice president of the United States. Kamala has inspired me to be the best that I can, to see a woman who looks like me that have accomplished her dreams in life. Let me know that I can too. Thanks, Kamala, for being that positive example for all little Black girls and girls of color. May God bless you on your journey.
Good morning, for the Lord is good and his mercies and do it forever. We serve a great God, a mighty God, a wonderful, powerful God. I just want to talk to you a little bit this morning and to encourage you. I talked to my wife. I said, honey, it's been almost a year in March, I think it began this pandemic. But God has brought us thus far. And I know that some of y'all are discouraged, worried, and you want to throw in the towel. But our blessing is right here. He woke us up this morning yeah. with blood stirring through our veins. The enemy want us to give, give in right now. But we know that the race is not given to the swift nor the strong, but those who endure. We have to endure right now. And it's both yeah. sides just quoting scriptures. Mm -hmm. I believe in my spirit that God wants us to live by the word of God yeah. and not just quote scriptures, amen. When things is going good, we can also say God is a good God, amen. Mm -hmm. But how about when calamity comes our way? What do we say then? But I just want to encourage you that even right now that uh, we see so much going on in our government, we see so much going on with diseases, so much is going on with our finances, but God is still able to do all things. So I just want to encourage you to help out your neighbor. Your neighbor is anyone who's in a need. Encourage your neighbor. Encourage your family members. Amen. Let them know that they're not in this all by themselves, that we're in this together. Yeah. Enemy has no power yeah. over us. Amen. And we summon him this morning by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because who the Son has made free is free indeed. Hold your heads up, O ye gates. Yeah. Let this everlasting king come in, amen. So I just want to encourage you, amen, before we got into the word of God today. I thank God for our tithers, amen, that you're giving tithe. That's the act of obedience. And God blesses those who are obedient. So we thank God for you all. Also, i like to thank our youth, amen. They, they are, still have energy, amen. Mm -hmm. But we need to support them, amen. Pick up the phone and call some you. Call some little kids up just to see how they're doing. Amen. And also, we have a couple games this Friday. I don't know what Reverend Justin has in store, but I'm going to be prepared. He's our host, him and his wife. So we thank God for a couple's Friday night. And we thank God for some of you all who feel shut in and not doing anything. We have a mango Saturday, I believe, at 3 o'clock. Amen. So online and also on Zoom, I believe. So these are things that we still can do. We, we're learning to adapt uh, this new lifestyle, amen. But God is ever present. I don't know about you, but I feel good today. So I give God a hand clap of praise. Better days. I'm too glad to be sad. I'm too cheery to be weary. I'm too serene to be mean. I'm too grateful to be hateful. I'm too blessed to be stressed. I'm too rich to be poor. I'm too happy to be snappy. I feel good, real good in every way, each and every day. I'm better today than I was yesterday. I'll be better tomorrow than I am today. Right where you had give God a five second hand clap of praise. Amen. Better days. Truly that uh, has blessed us from the time since I've been in the pastorate at Candleline. I have so many members come to me and say, Pastor, better days. They quote better days, amen, all during the week, amen. So we're going to continue to look at better days by faith. I'd like to solicit your attention this morning. For some of y'all, it's a very familiar passage of scripture. It will be found in Psalm. Psalm 121, verses 1 through 8. King James Version. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. He made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon the right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. 
The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Let us pray. Father God, we praise you for your faithfulness, your love, and your mercy. And we thank you for your many foes and blessings. As we come together in your presence today, guide us by the power of the Holy Spirit and draw us closer to you, where you'll get all glory, honor, and praise today. In the matchless name of Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord, we say amen. Amen. I like to title this message today, My Help. Look at someone and say, My Help. Look at them and really mean it. Look at them in the eyes and say, My Help. The author of this song is anonymous. Some suggested Hezekiah. This song expresses assurance and hope in God's protection day and night. God not only made the hills, but heaven and earth as well. We should never trust in a lesser power than God himself. Mm -hmm. But not only is he all powerful, he also watches over us and we can depend upon God for help. Yeah. I thought I had some praying folk here. <clears throat> Marcus Garvey once said, people without the knowledge of their past history, origin and culture are like trees without roots. Mm -hmm. History is the study of the past, particular people, events of the past. The pursuit of history is common to all races because it provides a context for our lives and help us to understand the present while we prepare for the future. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, according to some of the ancient Greek philosophers, true history is the study of great leaders and innovators. Prominent individuals shape their course of history through their personality, through their strength, through their character, through their ambition, through their abilities, and through their leadership, and through their creativity. Mm -hmm. Today, my brothers and sisters, we celebrate Black History Month. Mm -hmm. The month of February has been set aside as a tribute to Afro-Americans, men and women, who have made significant contributions in the fields of civil rights, religion, science, politics, law, sports, arts, entertainment, and much more. Mm -hmm. From the earliest days of the African presence in America, Blacks had contributed the fiber of American culture. And because we have also served and died in defense of this country. Mm -hmm. It is a blessing that we can celebrate our achievements and contribution. We celebrate Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, who was a minister, civil rights activist, and who was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom before his assassination in 1968. We celebrate Maya Angelou, a poet, an actress, a civil rights activist, known for her autobiographical writing. I know why cage birds sing. And also God's children need traveling shoes. We celebrate Maggie Lena Walker, mm -hmm. who despite all of her disabilities became the first black woman to form a bank mm -hmm. and the first woman of any race to be a bank president in the United States. We celebrate John Mercer Langston, who was the first black man to become an Ohio lawyer in 1854. We celebrate Barack Obama, the first black president of the United States of America, who had made his mark in history and profound of true leadership. My brothers and sisters, black history celebrates the courage, endurance, and faith of black people and move beyond the bondage of perseverance through our hardships. Yeah. In other words, we've been through something, amen. Yeah. Like the ancient Jews of the biblical history, black people have understood that God uses great men and women to liberate his people. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Joshua 1 and 7, only be thou strong and very courageous. None of these leaders achieved greatness on their own. They needed to reach their goals. Mm -hmm. They all needed some help. And my first point is this, 
When you need strength, the Lord will not let you stumble. Okay. Look at Psalm 121, verse 3. The Bible says, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He and keepeth thee will not slumber. It is good to know we serve a God who does not sleep on the job. Yeah. I need to say that again. Mm -hmm. It is good to serve a God who do not sleep on the job. Yeah. 24 hours, whatever you're going through, yeah. amen, God is still present. There's a shout right there. Yeah. When crisis come, our life challenges beyond our abilities, I want to know what can I learn and lean from the Lord. I want to know that I do not have to face my trials on my own understanding. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, God is our strength when we're weak. Mm -hmm. God is our strength when we're persecuted. Yeah. God is our strength when we're cast aside. God is our strength when we're mocked and ridiculed. Yeah. God is our strength and his everlasting arms cannot fail. And my second point is this, the Lord is our keeper. Okay. In this Psalm 121 verse five, the Bible says, the Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. Mm -hmm. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Mm -hmm. You don't have to spend time worrying and trying to figure out your way through life's troubles. Yeah. Troubles will take care of itself, amen? Because mm -hmm. troubles don't last always. You just need to let the Lord fight your battles. Yeah. The Bible says in verse five, God is the shade on your right hand. The soldier, my brothers and sisters, in ancient times was trained to carry his weapon on his right hand. Mm -hmm. When God shaded his right hand, God was hiding the soldier's weapon from the enemy. Okay. What better way to sneak attack to keep your weapons hidden? The song says that when God is your keeper, your enemies will never see you coming. Mm -hmm. Life is full of enemies. I need to say that again. Life is full of enemies, but some of them are not people. Mm -hmm. They are enemies in the, of the flesh and enemies of the mind. The Bible says the flesh profit no good thing. The Bible says keep your mind on God. So if we don't yield to the flesh and we keep our mind on God, mm -hmm. he is the reward yeah. for them I, who diligently seek him. Yeah. That's the God that we serve. Yeah. So I'm trying to encourage you this morning. Don't let the flesh get into your mind yeah. and tell you all kinds of things. Yeah. I'm tired of living in these four walls. I'm yeah. tired of just going to McDonald's and coming back. Yeah. I'm tired I can't see my kids. I can't see my grandkids. Yeah. I'm tired I can't see my doctors. I'm tired of getting on Zoom. Yeah. I'm tired of prayer yeah. line. Yeah. But I want you to know the race is not given to the swift or the strong, but those who endure. God will keep you through your shattered dreams. Yeah. We all have dreams and seem like the shadow, but the devil is a liar. Yeah. Because what God has for me yeah. is for me. Yeah. And what God has for you is for you. Yeah. God will keep you through criticized hope. Mm -hmm. God will keep you through troubled waters. Yeah. God will keep you through many afflictions. Mm -hmm. I like that verse when it said, many afflictions yeah. are the righteous, mm -hmm. but God, but God, yeah. but God shall deliver us from them all. Yeah. All your afflictions, just give them to God. Yeah. Cast all your cares upon the Lord yeah. because he cares for you. Yeah. God will keep you through a bad relationship. Yes, when God keeps you, guess what? You are kept. Finally, my brothers and sisters, the Lord is our preserver. Mm -hmm. Psalm 121, verse 7, the Bible says, The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He should preserve thy soul. Verse 8, the Bible says, The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. The Lord wants to preserve your soul from the experience of evil. The Lord wants to preserve your soul to spend eternity with him. The Lord wants to preserve your soul thy going out and thy coming. The Lord has you covered. I need to say that again. The Lord has you covered. Come on, homeboys. You know how we go out sometimes. We say we got your back. Yeah, the God got our back. He got us covered. Amen. The Lord has us covered, coming and going. Mm -hmm. When you belong to the Lord, 
It is impossible for you to find yourself alone. Yeah. God is everywhere, my brothers and sisters. The psalmist knew it in Psalms 139. He said, whether shall I go from thy spirit or whether shall I flee from thy presence if I ascend up into heaven, that are there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, that are there. Yeah. There are times, my brothers and sisters, when you feel like you're separated from God, but that's your choice that you make because God is ever present. Yeah. God is always calling us to draw nigh to him. The leaders in our history provided lessons for learning, and yet we know that life is still sometimes not fair. Yeah. There is still confusion in the White House. Mm -hmm. There's still some wrongs to be made right. There's still some hurts to be healed. Mm -hmm. There's still some offenses to be forgiven. Yeah. There's still some prisoners to be set free. Mm -hmm. The Lord is able to open the door of your deliverance. Yeah. The yeah. Lord is able to break the shackles. The Lord is still my light and my salvation. Yeah. Whom shall I fear? From whence cometh my help? My help coming from the Lord. Yeah. Oh, I thought I had some praying folk here today. Yeah. There is help and comfort in times of loneliness and sorrow. There is help and guidance in times of decision. Yeah. There is help and protection in times of danger. Mm -hmm. There is help with peace in times of turmoil. There is help with rest in times of worldliness. Yeah. There is help with when in times of differences. Help is the way and you're bound up and changed. If you are tired, weak, and worn, help is on the way. Yeah. Help is on the way to save you today. Yeah. Help yeah. is on the way to save you. Yeah. To save you means to deliver you, yeah. to keep you from danger. Yeah. We should all just give a shout right now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God is present, church. Yeah. God is right here. God is holding us right there in his hand. We did not have to be here today on Zoom and on prayer line, but God is faithful. We need to connect to one with one another and we need to connect with God. And no matter what goes on, everything else in the past, let it be the past. We're gonna look up to the hills yeah. we're coming by help, knowing that our help coming from the Lord yeah. because God made earth and heaven yeah. and we know that God is no respect the person. I don't know about you, but I thank God for being God by self yeah. because he's our mission God. He yeah. knows everything. He's all powerful God. Yeah. He's an ever present God. He's a sovereign God. Yeah. I'm going to praise God today because he was with me in the midnight hour. I'm going to praise yeah. him today. He was with me when I didn't know which way to turn. Yeah. I'm going to praise him today because yeah. of the medical report that I got. Yeah. I'm going to praise him today because he sacrificed his life for me. Yeah. He was hung high, stretched wide, bruised yeah. and fit on. But I thank God for the blood pouring down off from the crowns on his head. Yeah. There was precious blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus can heal us. I don't know about you, but I know no matter what we go through, Jesus shed enough blood yeah. to bring us through. Isn't he a good God? Yes, he is. Isn't he worthy? Yeah. Isn't he worthy? Yeah. Isn't he worthy yeah. to be praised? Yes, don't take it lightly. I know the enemies got you in the ninth round right now. The tenth round, he want to knock you out. But the enemy, you have your power to knock us out. Because yes. God is the one who has given me strength yes. to go ten rounds. Yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Yes. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh God, we come. Yes. Oh, we thank you, God. Yes. I know the issue seems unchangeable. Yes, God. And that there's no reason to. Shout, yes, God. But the impossible, yes, God. Yes, is God's chance, yes, God. to work a miracle, yes, God. A miracle, oh, so just know oh, it ain't over. 
Yes. Until God says it's over, yes, yes. it ain't over. Yes. Until God says it's done. Yes. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. It ain't over. Yes. Until God says yes. My brothers and sisters, there might be one here today think that is over. But the devil is a liar. It's not over yeah. till God says it's over. All you have to do is be connected with this God. And to be connected with him, all you have to do is believe that God has raised his son Jesus from the dead. And the Bible says that shall be saved. And once you say with the mouth, confession is made to salvation, with the heart man believe to righteousness. The Bible says, call upon the name of the Lord, that shall be saved. He's not trying to get into our past. He's not trying to get into our stuff. We are in perilous times right now. We got to know who our commander, yes. who our chief, and who our leader is. Yes. We got to know who yes. he is. And he's the one right now, got outstretched arms, telling you to come, come to him. He'll take care of you. He'll walk with you. He'll eat with you. He'll be there for you. Yeah. It's just that simple. All you have to do is just say, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and cleanse me. Come into my heart and save me. If you say that prayer, you're saved today. And the Bible says the whole heavenly joys rehearse. If you're saved today, Please call Pastor Tolliver and First Lady Reverend Adrienne Tolliver at 804-457-2163. Say, Pastor, I got saved today. I got saved on this day. The past is the past. I'm going to look up to the hills what comes to my help. I have a relationship with God right now. I just want to thank you, Pastor, that I know where my soul lies. I know where I spend eternity. If you preach that prayer, you are saved today. Let us pray. Gracious, omniscient God, Lord, we come in that presence to just say thank you. We come in that presence, God, because we know that we're not alone, God. God, we've been through many crises, many trials, many troubles, many tribulations. But your word said, be of good cheer. But God, we need you right there. Send your Holy Spirit to each home right now. Come through them concentrated walls, Holy Spirit. Touch and heal infirmities. Heal sickness. Heal cancer. Yeah. Heal whatever diseases that try to come our way. Because we know you're the Lord, our God, that healeth thee. Come in our homes right now, God. Continue to hold the roof over top of our head, God. Let us know it's not us, God, that holding the roof is you, God. Come to our home, oh God, and continue to provide food, water. Continue to be with us, God. God, come into our home and teach us to love ye one and another. Oh, God, we give this prayer to you because we know you do all things by faith. We love you, Lord. We praise your holy and your righteous name. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, amen. We should now enter to our communion services.
sisters. The elements on this table represents the law of death, burial, and resurrection. This bread represents his body. This cup represents his blood. I ask the Reverend Todd will pray over his body and blood. Let us pray. God, we just thank you, God, for the sacrifice that was made over 2,000 years ago when you gave your son to die on the cross for our sins. God, we pray that you bless these sacraments, God, that you bless the bread that represents your son's body that was broken for our sins and the cup, the juice that represents the blood that was shed on Calvary's cross. God, we just say thank you. Bless these elements in everyone's home on today. In Jesus' name we do pray, amen. On the night the Lord was betrayed, he took the bread. He broke it. He said, this bread represents my body that is broken for you. As often you eat of this bread, do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, he took the cup, he sucked from the cup. He said, this cup represents my blood that was shed for you. As often as you drink from this cup, do this in remembrance of me. The Bible goes on to say, before we take up this Lord's Supper, we must examine ourselves. Many are sick, weak, and asleep because they took up these Lord's Supper and word of it. Let us take time to examine ourselves. Gracious and wise God, Lord, we need you. We need you right now, God, because we know, God, that without you, God, we cannot make it. With you, all things are possible. But God, we come right now because we know you will forgive us sins and habits. Forgive us of our sins and our bad habits, God. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness, God. God, just make us a fresh right now. Make us worthy to be part of this Lord's Supper yes. that we can eat from your table. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And the people of God said, Amen. We should now eat of his body and drink of his blood. Amen. 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 We're going to have prayer. I'm Hold on. We, we have a video to show you. Uh, okay. London did a recording. So we're before we close out, we're going to show you all that recording. She took time to record and we want to make sure that everyone see on Zoom the actual recording. So Matthew, if you don't mind, if you could go ahead and show the recording of London's presentation again, if you all don't mind, listen to it one more time, amen. amen. We wanna thank London and all our youth every Sunday and all the coordinators who've been trying to do that for us. Amen, if we can just turn our heads to the camera and watch London with her presentation quickly, amen. Amen. Most importantly, I'm a child of God. And though we're celebrating Black history, I want to recognize the accomplishments of an African-American slash Indian woman who has inspired me a lot. Her name is Kamala Harris. Kamala first ran for public office as San Francisco's district attorney in 2002, defeating her former boss to become the first African-American woman to serve as district attorney in California. Kamala is biracial, identifying as both Black and Indian. Harris' next stop to on her road to the White House would be at the Cap California State Capitol as the first African-American first woman and first Asian American to serve as California's Attorney General. From there, she fulfilled the Senate seat long held by Barbara Boxer and became the second Black woman elected to the U.S. Senate. Back in 1990, she worked as a Deputy District Attorney in Amadea County. A decade, a decade later, in 2000, she worked for the Family and Children's Service Division in San Francisco 
focusing child abuse and neglect. Three years later, in 2003, she ran for district attorney of San Francisco and was elected in a runoff election. She was the first of color to be in the DA in the city. Harris was reelected in 2007. Then in 2010, Kamala ran and won her bid for attorney general of California, becoming the first female and first black and Indian American in this position. Kamala Harris ran for president of the United States in early 2019 and decided to drop out of the race due to her becoming Biden's running mate as vice president. In August of 2020, she had a historic hit career in the Bay Area and in California. January 20th, 2021, Kamala Harris was the first African-American slash Indian woman elected vice president of the United States. Kamala has inspired me to be the best that I can to see a woman who looks like me that have accomplished her dreams in life. Let me know that I can too. Thanks Kamala for being that positive example for all little black girls and girls of color. May God bless you on your journey. Amen. 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 Oh, I'm pressing me. Amen. We want to thank London and thank you, Matthew, Amen. for showing that Amen. again.